Hello everybody, how are you guys doing today? So now we are down to the red belt level. So today we're gonna to go over um, all 10 red belt techniques. Tigers, you already know you only get the first five. Adults, teen and adults, you get all 10. So we're gonna go through all 10 of them today, doing them on the body. Same thing we've been doing with all the other videos. We'll face the other way so we can do it like we're doing it in class. Today, we'll do it a little bit differently because we have Mr. David and Miss Liz today. So it's gonna be like you're in class with us. So and I hope so you, hopefully let you guys know how much we miss you too. So here we go. First technique, what are we starting with? Protective fans. Protective fans is a defense against a left-right punch, okay? So we're gonna go through the motions and we'll go through showing you guys what that looks like on the body. So the first part of this technique, we're stepping into a left neutral bow as you do a left inward parry. Now, from that left inward parry, you're gonna rotate to a forward bow to do a right outward parry. So from here, they're all, both of them are in the right forward bow here. And from this position, we're gonna do three things at the same time. It's going to go from a grab and we're going to go here into a front kick and into an eye gouge at the same time. But we're going to try to get all of that happening simultaneously. So from here, go with the grab first. So you're grabbing with the hand that was doing the outward parry. And from here, you're going to rotate and throw a front kick to the inside of their knee as you do a single finger thrust to the eye at the same time. All right. Now come back to the outward parry. And as we do this, it's going to be one motion that's going to get us to that position there. Ready? So we'll go to that kick and hold the kick up. Let you guys work your balance out. No, you're supposed to hold the kick up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. From here, we're going to drop. It's going to go drop, check with the left, inward elbow with the right. Except all three are happening simultaneously as well. So come back to that front kick position. And you're going to drop when I say go, but all three of them together. Ready? Go. Boom. So that inward elbow is going to be hitting the inside of the shoulder, and you'll see that in a little while as we show you guys what we do on the body. So from that inward elbow that opens a person up, we're going to go into three claws, horizontal claws. So we're going to take the right hand, and we're going to hit with the base of the hand right here, not with the palm of your hand, with the heel of the hand. So we're going to go out into an outward claw, come back in, inward claw, and rotate over. And as we go for the last heel palm, we're going to hook the back of the neck. Now we have another part where we're gonna do several things at the same time. Right hand is going to pull in. The left hand, because it's under here, checking underneath the right arm, is gonna slide underneath that right arm out to a hand sword. And the right leg is gonna do a scoop kick under the, like underneath that groin to come back to a left fighting stance. Except all three of these are gonna happen at the same time. So as we go into the next move, go. You end up in a left neutral bow, and from here, you'll cover out and get yourself away from danger. So now we're gonna face the other way, stepping into a left neutral bow first with a left inward parry. Good, look just like them. Now rotate to a forward bow with a right outward parry. Now remember, we're grabbing, kicking, and eye gouge at the same time. Grabbing with the right, kicking with the right, and a left eye gouge, and all that's happening towards the front 45 this way. So go ahead. Now as we drop, left hand checks, inward elbow and drop. And remember, all three of those motions are gonna happen at the exact same time. Now we have the three heel palms. So we got one coming out, bring it back in. And the third one hits and hooks. And from here, same thing, three things happening. We're pulling, hand sword, and scoop kick all at the same time. Go. So you should end up in a good left body stance and from there, you'll cover out. Awesome, and that is protective fans. So here's what we got. Come on over here, Mr. David. Let's see, we're in frame there. Get yeah, face this way. So left punch comes in, I'm stepping on the inside of that punch and I'm doing an inward parry on the inside of the punch. From here, that right punch is gonna come in. I'm gonna rotate to a forward bow as I get my head out of the way to go with an outward parry. Now here's what we talked about doing the three motions. This parry is gonna rotate into a grab. So right from here, I'm gonna rotate to a grab. Front kick is gonna hit the inside of that knee as I eye gouge at the same time. So from this parry, I'm going from here, strike. I'm gonna drop, parry that arm down. And as I do that, rotate into an inward elbow as I go here. So now I should be in a good right fighting stance. So coming off the kick, strike. From here, I'm gonna hit with three heel palms. So I'm going outward heel palm to the face, Flip that over to another heel palm, and on this last heel palm, I'm gonna hit, hook the back of his neck. 
Now notice my hand is still pinning his arm down. From here, I'm gonna release it. And as I pull David towards me, my left arm is gonna hit to his throat and I'm gonna scoop kick that groin. All of them pop at the same time. And from there, I'll end up covering out. Awesome, thank you, sir. Miss Lindsay feels left out. It's okay, honey. All right, next technique, what is it? Blind sacrifice. Blinding sacrifice. Blinding sacrifice is for a choke, all right? So somebody's coming up to you like I'm grabbing Miss Lindsay. Now I'm grabbing Miss Lindsay because I don't like Miss Lindsay right now. Ah! Miss Lindsay's not gonna have it. So I'm gonna teach you guys how we're gonna fix this problem. So from here, if you notice, from here, just try to picture in your mind two arms right here, okay? So when well, you guys get a better understanding what I'm telling you, you're going up in between their arms to get to the eyes. So your first motion from here, we'll have you guys move up just a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Stepping into a right neutral bow, and you're doing two straight finger thrusts right to the eyes. These are coming up between the person's arm that's choking. That's going to the eyes. From that position, we're gonna ride the inside of their arms, open hand, to kind of slide down as we pull forward, and that's gonna let go and come around into a double heel palm strike right to the groin. There we go. Now, depending on where you find yourselves coming out from here, if you're too far away, then you can step drag your way into doing a double heel palm to the groin. From there, they're gonna flip those hands into two back fists that are gonna hit right to the kidney, and as you do that, you're gonna hit Roll back to a cat stance, and your cat stance, remember what we talked about? Most of your weight is on the back leg. So from here, they're just in a cover position, and from there, they're gonna whip out to the person's eyes. Now, if they bring those arms up to grab those eyes, what you're gonna do from that position is you're gonna clear those arms down as you step out into a right neutral bow. So you clear down. Those arms are gonna continue in a circular motion to come up to a double back fist, a double inverted back fist right to the temple. That picture, you have that head right between your arms. These guys are gonna roll their wrist in and pull that head into what we call a collapsing double elbow. From that position, they're gonna pull down. You gotta imagine there's a head right between your arms right now. You're gonna pull down and smash that right into your knee. So they're gonna, now I'm gonna try to explain the last part of this before they go. As you smash their head into your knee, once that head bounces up, you're gonna kick the inside of their knee with a side kick. So when they pull them down, knee, and side kick to the inside of the leg, and from there, they can cover out. Awesome. All right, let's face the other way. Here we go, blinding sacrifice. So we're stepping into a right neutral bow, double finger thrust right to the eyes. What comes next? We clear the inside of those arms and step drag in, double heel palm to the groin. Now, where do we go from there? We're gonna rotate around to another circular motion, two back fists, and pull back to a cat stance. From there, we're gonna whip out, take those hands, pull them down as we step back into a neutral, and we're gonna circle around into a double back fist to the temple. From that, roll them in, double elbow, bring them down, pull them down to that knee, and from there, kick them the inside of the leg, and we come around. Awesome. All right. This will be fun to do it this way. Mr. David, you're gonna attack Miss Lizzie. Miss Lizzie, don't look scared. Here we go. So he grabs her. She's gonna step in, double eye gouge as she clears the arms right off of her. From there, double heel palm to the groin. From there, she's gonna reach around, strike and pull back. Whips the fingers out to the eyes when he comes up to grab. She pulls down, steps in, double back fist, rolls him into a collapsing elbow, knees him to the face, and then kicks it inside his leg as she covers out. Awesome job. Next technique, locking horns, and that's for a front guillotine choke. So you guys have seen like a lot of the guillotine chokes in the UFC, all that good stuff. But this is just going from a standing position instead of from a ground position, okay? So we're gonna go through the technique in the air, and again, we'll show you how we do this on the body. So we're assuming that the person's grabbing you into a guillotine choke. That means they have your head down and you're stepping forward. Now, you're gonna end up wanting to step forward with your right leg, and as you do that, you're gonna take your left hand Bring it in between their arm and your neck. So reach up, there we go. From here, now we're gonna step forward into a lunge stance, and as you do that, you're gonna take a rich hand and you're gonna drive right underneath that groin as hard as possible. 
Now from that strike, because your hand is right between their legs, you're gonna grab the flesh right on the inner thigh, you're gonna squeeze and you're gonna rip. So this isn't a little pinch, you're actually grabbing with the whole fistful, and you're gonna rip back to get them to loosen up that grip. As you feel that grip loosen up, you're gonna drop your right hand back in front of you, palm facing out. Your elbow is gonna come up the center line of their body to hit right underneath that chin as you pull all the way back. Now from there, you're gonna step drag in and smash in with an inward elbow sandwich and elbow. Awesome. And that's the end of the technique. So, let's face this way. Same thing. They grab into a guillotine choke. Guys, you come down. Left hand comes up, grabs as you step into a lunge stance. Stay low. And that rich hand is coming right underneath. It's coming up really hard. Now remember, it's already there. Grab the inside of that thigh. And rip back as hard as possible. Now, when you feel that hand, you have to loosen up a little bit, bring that arm back down, elbow is gonna come up, center line of the body, hit that head, pop, and after that, step drag in, elbow. Good job. All right, Mr. David's feeling a little left out. I'm gonna attack Mr. David so he can hit me a little bit. So, here we go. I grab him, so this is the position that we find ourselves in. He's gonna step forward as he grabs the end to grab my arm, Boom. The reason why he's grabbing my arm, you guys can't see this, but what he's trying to do is trying to relieve the pressure to his neck. So he's trying to get his hand in between my arm and his neck to start to pull down as he steps forward. That road shot is going to get me to start to loosen up a little bit. From there, he's going to grab the inside of my right thigh and he pulls. Boom. Not going to feel good. Now, as I let go a little bit, he's going to bring that hand underneath and you're going to watch. His elbow's coming up the center line of my body. Boom. Elbow underneath that chin. I give him a beautiful face. And what does he do? He steps in, plastic surgery, smashes my face. And everybody has a good day. <laughs> awesome. Next technique. And here we go. Next technique, shielding hammer, defense against a left punch. So in this technique, we're gonna go in with the inward parry into an extended outward block to start with as we step back away from the punch. So from here, you guys move up so they can take a look at you guys a little bit better. From there, they're gonna drop back into a right fighting stance as they do a left inward parry into an extended outward block. Now, same arm that does that block is gonna come across with the knuckles. You're gonna flip that arm around and rake right across the face, across the bridge of the nose. That hand is gonna end up coming underneath your left arm, which is gonna then shoot out into a straight finger thrust to the eyes. So that means as you rake, finger thrust is gonna come out. From that position, because they're already wound up, ready to go, they're gonna step drag forward and they're gonna release this right elbow into outward elbow right to the solar plexus. From that position, they're gonna go into a rear twist. That means taking that left foot, stepping behind the right foot as you go into a rear twist position and you're doing a back fist to the groin. Now, from here, they're gonna try to buckle the person's leg. Now, what's gonna happen is that they hit, the, as they hit the inside of the person's leg, that's gonna cause a chest to for, uh, fall forward. When they fall forward, they're gonna take this right arm and by just straightening that arm, it's gonna come underneath that chin and it's gonna raise them up. So what they're gonna do is take their right leg, shove it straight back into a really deep forward bow. As they do that, right arm is gonna come straight up underneath that chin to raise them up. From that position, they're gonna rotate to a forward bow. Here, let's move over this way, Mr. David. Let's get you in here, Miss Lizzie. There you go. From here, we're gonna rotate to a forward bow. So we do a heel palm to the chest. And from that position, you make sure your right hand is covered over your shoulder. Then we're gonna take that same middle knuckle strike that we used in earlier techniques, except this one's gonna come inverted because from that position, they're gonna rotate back to a reverse bow as they throw middle knuckle strike right to the throat. And from there, we can cover out. Facing this way, shielding hammer. Stepping back, parry block. Now you guys should be in a right fighting stance just like them. Remember that right hand is gonna come in, raking in with the knuckles as it comes underneath your left into a straight finger thrust. From that position, you're step dragging in with the right outward elbow. Now remember, you're taking that left foot, stepping behind your right as you come into a hammer fist to the groin. From that position, right leg is gonna come barreling back into a deep forward bow. And as that happens, this hand that was doing that hammer fist is gonna shoot straight up to the side. That means we're taking that arm, try to hit right underneath that chin. From this position, rotate this way into a forward bow as you do a heel palm right to the, right to the chest. 
From there, you're gonna rotate back, taking that middle knuckle strike inverted, and it's gonna hit right to the throat. And then, you can cover out. Awesome, so let's go left toward this side. Mr. David. <laughs> All right, so the left punch comes in. I'm gonna step away from the punch, parry block. I wanna be on the inside of that. I'm gonna hit both of those as fast as I can. From this position, I'm raking across his face. If I end up this far, right as I rake, I'm gonna step in as I do this eye gouge to go into that elbow, okay? If I was close enough from here, I would simply just go right from that rake to the eye gouge and from there, step in like we did that we just did in the air, stepping in, elbow to the body. From here, when I do my rear twist, you notice where my leg is at. So my rear twist is gonna end up going behind his front leg. So as I go to here, as I hit his body, he moves back a little bit. I'm gonna go into a rear twist and hit a groin strike right to here. From that groin strike, this right leg is gonna hit the inside of his leg. As I drive back, if his chest comes down, I'm then gonna take my arm and go right underneath that chin to hit up, boom, as hard as possible. From here, I'm gonna rotate forward, heel palm to raise him back up, and then from there, I'm gonna turn away, middle knuckle strike right to the throat as I cover out. End of the technique. Thank you, sir. So, next technique will be locked wing. Now, this is for a rear grab, so it's kinda like a hemlock. From here, it'd be like me coming up behind Miss Lizzie, grabbing this wrist, pulling it behind her back as I'm holding her right here. Okay, this is an underhand grab with me grabbing her and pulling that arm right behind her back. From this position, first thing you guys have, let me move you guys up a little bit. From there, let's say they grab you. The first thing you're gonna do, I'm gonna turn this way and look at my arm. As I have my arm behind my, uh, I have my arm behind my back, I'm going to re-grab with this left hand. So which means, come here Miss Lizzie. From here, as I grab her wrist, what she's gonna do is she's gonna re-grab my wrist to go into the next position. The reason why is because once she strikes me, she's not gonna wanna let go because she's got a lot of work to do, right? Okay, I'm glad you're so excited. All right, here we go, ready? So from there, you'll re-grab and you're gonna step back into a left fighting stance and as you do that, you're gonna engage with the left outward elbow. So step back. From that elbow, you're gonna extend out to a heel palm that's gonna go right through their face. Go ahead, and it's gonna wrap around the arm. And the reason for wrapping around the arm is because you're gonna turn it to a forward bow and you're gonna try to break that arm, okay? From this position, you're gonna take your right leg, you're gonna step back around the clock and come all the way back to six o'clock as you pull the person forward. Now they're sailing coming in this way. Once they come in, you're gonna catch them as they come in with a smashing knee and a hammer fist right to the back of the neck. And from there, you'll be able to cover out. Awesome. Now let's face away from the camera so you guys can follow us at home. So they grab your arm, look at their arms behind their back, they're re-grabbing. Then they're gonna step back and go into an outward elbow with the left hand. So now from that outward elbow, they're gonna extend out to a heel palm go right through the face. You're gonna rake right across the face, come around that arm, catch them, bring them around into a break. Now you're going into a forward bow at this point. From here, you're gonna take that left foot, I'm sorry, the right foot, and you're gonna bring it all the way around behind you. That brings the person coming around this way. And what you wanna do is you wanna catch that momentum. As they come around, you're gonna step in, hammer fist and knee at the same time. And that's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. So from here, Miss Lizzie's going to re-grab my wrist, then she's going to step back. First part, she's stepping between my legs and going into an outward elbow. Then as my head is going back, she's going to continue with the heel palm, and this is the reason why she's holding me, because no matter how much I'm leaning back, she's like, negative Ghost Rider, you're going for a ride. Coming around, she's going to grab that arm and push forward. And what happens is that she turns her hip forward really hard, that's going to force me to want to come forward or else I'm going to break my own arm. From here, she's going to see me coming forward, and as I do that, she's going to take that right leg, step around, swing me over, and when I get to here, she steps forward, knee and hammer fist at the same time. She's being nice to me. She's not hitting me in front of you guys. Yes. All right, now, flight to freedom. We call flight to freedom a blocked lock wing, right? So lock wing, you get to step back and get to hit him with that elbow and that heel palm. On flight to freedom, as you step back, they're gonna actually put their arm up and they're gonna block that shot. From that block, we're gonna bounce off of it to go to the next part. So from here, same thing. We're gonna re-grab, step back, and you're gonna hit that elbow. 
Now that arm comes out and they block that elbow. You're gonna come back around, step almost towards a front 45 into a lunge stance. And as you do that, you're gonna extend your right arm out to get away from them a little bit. You're gonna take your right leg and you're going with a heel kick right to that armpit. As you drop towards them, you're gonna bring, you're gonna bring that arm around to bring them right down into a arm bar. You want your left arm to be parallel, your forearm to be parallel to the ground. A lot of times you guys do this part, and I'll see a lot of people just kind of put their hand down as they do that. Take your forearm and put it right against their elbow, and you have their wrist here, and you're gonna pull up as you do that. That just brings them down a little bit. From here, they'll have that left leg in front this way, and you're gonna step through, and you're gonna throw a side kick to the inside of that knee. And as you buckle that knee, you're going to drop into a twist that's going away from them, but you're going to pull them in, and at that point, you're going to try to break the arm. And then from there, you'll come around. Good job. All right, facing this way. Flight the freedom. Here, face this way. We're going to do it this way now. Now, elbows behind your back. You step back, and they block the shot. So now you're in the same position as they're in. Right leg is in front facing me, right? Now you're going to step back this way to a lunge stance. Look behind your back as you extend that right arm and you're going to kick underneath that armpit and drop into a twist stance. As you do that, try to remember that once you come off of that kick, when you drop, you're going to bring this arm around, whip them around to get them into that arm bar. From here, you're going to step through, side kick to the inside of the knee, then bring that left foot back to a twist stance, a front twist, break the arm, and then we come around. There we go. So from here, come here. So Miss Lizzie steps back and to hit me with the elbow, and I have my arm up. From there, she's gonna step forward, throw the side kick, I mean the heel kick here, and after she throws it, drops, and takes me down into an arm bar. From this position, she's gonna step through, side kick the inside of my knee, yank me forward a little bit, and break that arm, and then she covers up. That's flight to freedom. Okay, next technique, we're going into leap of death. Leap of death is a right punch coming from your nine o'clock. So if you guys are facing me, it would seem like it's, I'm saying three o'clock, but it's not, it's nine o'clock coming from my left, okay? I turn and look and I see a punch coming in. You're stepping into a left neutral bow. So you just gotta think to yourself, you can't step straight out. You're stepping to the side here, but it's gonna be back at an angle a little bit, just so you can have heel to alignment when you get to here. So as you guys step out with your left, your left hand is gonna do an inward parry because you're gonna catch the outside of the punch. So as you watch these guys when they step out, they're gonna step out, left inward parry. From that left inward parry, they're gonna come around the bottom with the right arm and do a right outward parry. From that parry, they're gonna go into a back fist to the, uh, to the body with the left hand, and that right arm turns into, the right hand turns into a grab. So you're actually grabbing the person's wrist, and we'll show you guys that when we do this on the body. From that position, they're gonna take that left arm, bring it around the back of the person's arm. Same arm bar that you guys have been seeing in a lot of these techniques. This is just being done from a stand-up position. But what they're gonna do from here is they're gonna rotate to a forward bow as they drop that arm bar this way to try to bring the person to the ground. Now, you're actually leading the person to fall right in front of you as much as possible. Now, if they take off like crazy, doesn't matter because we're still gonna get them. From here, once they hit the ground, you're going to jump and slide down their kidney. So basically, you're gonna jump and jump, literally landing down on them with your heels to slide down the side of their kidneys. And at the same time, you're gonna hit a heel pump right to the back of the head because as soon as you land here, that head might pop up and you're gonna shove it right back down into the ground. Hopefully, it's concrete. Ready? Jump. Go. From there, you're gonna reach down around and grab their chin. So you're kind of cupping it with both hands. Now, as you pull up, you're gonna notice that right now their knees are pointed out. But what's gonna happen is as they pull up, they're gonna turn their knees in, press their knees against the upper back as they pull back on that chin to try to break it. Go. Now, from here, we're just gonna assume that that was just a hurting motion. We didn't get to break anything, so we're gonna continue on. From here, your motion is gonna go left over right. From here, we're gonna snap that neck hand sword down to the uh, bridge of the nose. From here, we're gonna rotate to a right lunge stance, a closed kneel, I should say. Because what we're doing is, they're dropping a left knee strike on the spine, and if you look at their left hand, it's doing downward heel bone to hit the right at the back of that head. From here, they're gonna cover out, but on their way out to the left, they're gonna transfer all the way to the left leg and a stomping kick as they step out to the back of the head, and they'll cover out. 
and you'll see them do that on me and it'll be lots like of fun. So, facing this way, first part of the technique. Here we go, stepping in. So now you guys are stepping out to the left here, okay, when you're at home, and just make sure as you step out with the left, the first hand that's moving is the left, the right is coming right underneath it. So now they have the right hand that's grabbing as a back elbow, I mean a back fist, is going right to the body. From that position, that same hand is going to continue right through that body, just like you do a trigger salute, come around the back of the arm, and as you do that, you're going to rotate to a forward bow to take the person down to the ground. That's with the arm bar that you have. From here, remember we're jumping on them, sliding down those kidneys and hitting with a heel palm at the same time. So jump on their back, boom. Now from there, we're gonna reach around, grab that chin and pull up as we turn our knees in. Left over right, we're gonna snap, cup with the left, hand sword goes to the bridge of the nose, rotate over to your right, dropping that left knee on their spine as you do a heel palm. And now as you go to escape, you kick the back of the head and you're out of there. All right, so the right punch comes in, he steps out, outward, boom, and he goes right into a back fist. From here, he's gonna rotate over, grab that arm into an arm bar. From there, when he turns, he's gonna turn pretty violently. He's not gonna do that to me right now because he actually likes me. So when he turns and he throws, go ahead, boom, that leads me down, oh, right to the ground. From here, David's gonna jump on my back, slide down, hit me with the heel palm. From there, he's gonna pull up, as he puts his knee right in the middle of my back. All right, I don't feel good. From here, he's gonna snap, cup in, hand sword, drop that heel palm on the back of the head with the knee on the spine. Ah! And then from there, he kicks the back of the head. Hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Next technique is snapping twig. Snapping twig is actually done for a left push, all right? So this is one of those techniques that you really want to have a whole lot of timing on because you're really anticipating the shot coming in. So that shove comes in and it can actually even be for just somebody grabbing you with their left arm. So as that arm comes in, you're going to step back into a right fighting stance. And as you do that, you're going to hit with the right heel palm right to the elbow. Your left hand is going to pin that wrist right against your body. So both of these motions are going to happen at the same time on the first motion. So you step back and you strike. Now from there, you're gonna keep your left arm against that wrist, you're gonna keep them there. Your right hand is gonna rotate over on the inside of that arm with the crane, and you're gonna pull. Now here's what's gonna happen. As you pull, you're gonna allow your left hand to slide right above that right as you turn into a lunge stance to hit with a hand saw to the neck. And that's the position that you see these guys in right now. From that position, you're gonna rotate out and you're gonna go into a rake. You're gonna rake right across the face and you're now on the right neutral bow. So you're gonna rake across the face, continue into a great, uh, circular motion and step drag in to an inward elbow. All right, so that's snapping twig. Now let's face the other way. So in this position, they're gonna step back as you grab them and they're gonna hit. Right arm is striking the elbow, left hand is pinning. Now that same right hand is gonna rotate on the inside of the arm. As you pull with that right, you're gonna rotate to a lunge stance and hit with an outward hand sword. From here, we're gonna take that right hand and come right through, same raking back fist that we did. We're gonna rake across that face. You're back in a neutral, you're gonna rake, come all the way around into a circular motion and step drag in, smashing elbow. And that's the last part of that technique. Awesome. Let's see, uh, Mr. David, from right over here. So from here, he grabs my shirt. I'm gonna step back, and as I step back, his arm goes a little bit straight. I'm gonna hit both of these at the same time. So as soon as I step back, strike. From here, I'm gonna rotate on the inside. I still have to grab a hold of this arm. I'm gonna let go now, because as I rotate and pull on the inside of this arm, this is gonna come right up the line. I'm gonna rotate into an outward hand sword from here. From this position, I'm gonna rake to go into an elbow, but once I rake, I'm gonna flip that wrist around, strike, and then go right into an elbow from that position. And from there, we can cut wrap. Thank you, sir. All right, we have two more techniques left. Uh, first one's gonna be cross of destruction. Now this is for a rare choke, okay? Here's what we're gonna do, work on this first one. We're gonna go through this together. So you're working on grabbing on the inside of the meaty part of the hand here, but you're gonna reach under and grab with both arms, okay? From that position, go ahead and reach up and grab, guys. 
we're gonna, as we peel out, we're gonna, it's almost like we're gonna take their arms and peel it out this way. So as we peel out, we're gonna pull those arms out, step out to the right, drop down, and from here, we're gonna take those elbows, trying to get those elbows to align with just being right over those shoulders. You're gonna stand up, but you're gonna pull down at the same time. So you want both elbows to be hitting those shoulders, and as your shoulders come up, you're gonna pull down on their wrists and try to break both arms. So you're gonna pull down and strike. From here, I'm gonna take this left arm, it's gonna go over my, right, over my head. As I do that, I'm turning. I'm gonna take this right leg, I'm gonna kick the inside of their leg as I rotate over, and I should end up in a forward bow going to the back 45 this way. So rotate over, guys. Good, from this position, I'm gonna step through and throw a front kick right to the inside of their knee with the right. So as you step through a knee, I'm sorry, kick, and you're gonna just land and throw it off, all right? So turn back and face this way now. Now you guys are facing the exact same direction. So same thing, you're grabbing on the inside of those arms, turn them out. Now you're gonna step out to your right, drop down, pull forward, and from there we're gonna stand up and pull down. Now from that position, left hand is gonna go overhead. As we rotate and spin, we're gonna throw a right hook kick. There you go, keep the inside of that leg. You should be in a forward bow from here. You're gonna step through, throw a right front kick to the inside of that knee. And as they keep falling, just throw them off. Awesome. So, here's what we got, Miss Lizzie. We're going to choke Miss Lizzie. So, from here, she's going to grab from there, peel. And from there, she's going to step out to the right, drop those elbows as she pulls out with the wrist. Now, from that position that gets me up on my toes, she's going to go underneath, move that arm out of the way, kick the inside of my leg a little bit to disturb my balance. That gives her a wide, a wide open shot to this right knee. So from there, she's going to step through, throw a front kick to that knee. Boom, and as she does that, she just continues to shove me away. That's the end of the technique. Thank you, ma'am. Next technique is going to be following cross. Same attack, but we're going in a different direction. So across the destruction, we're pulling out this way. For falling cross, even though on cross the destruction we went this way, falling cross, we're going in the opposite direction. So from here, we're gonna reach up, same thing, grab on the inside of those hands. From here, you're only you're gonna duck your head underneath their arms, but you're taking your right leg and you're gonna step over to come around. As you do that, you're gonna have both arms right here when you hold them. So go ahead and grab, step, and turn. From this position, you're gonna have their arm in a cross position. What you're gonna to attempt to do is to break one of those arms because you're gonna step through and throw a knee. That knee is gonna actually hit right underneath that elbow as you pull down on that wrist so you can cause a break. So you're gonna step up and knee. From that knee, you're gonna throw a front kick to the groin and from there land forward, holding with your left, you're gonna go ahead and throw an inward elbow with your right. All right, awesome. All right, now let's face this way and try the same thing again. So again, fall and cross, they grab you, you're gonna take your head, drop down, and you're taking your right leg, you step around the front of your body to come around. So go ahead and go around. Now from here, you should be in a forward bow. Step through with your right leg. You're gonna come up and knee as you knee. Drop those arms because you're gonna try to break that arm. So step through, knee. From that knee, front kick to the groin. And now we're gonna drop forward, release with the right. Keep a hold of them with the left as you pull them in to inward elbow. Awesome. All right, come here, Miss Lizzie. Okay, so from here, she's gonna reach up and grab, step over, duck her head under, and now we're in this position. From here, when she steps through her knees, she's gonna pull my left arm down as she tries to break that arm. From there, she's gonna throw a front kick to the groin, bang, step forward and drop in, right to the inward elbow, and that finishes the technique. Good job, coming over. All right, I hope you guys had some fun with that. Um, same thing guys, practice, practice, practice. Try to get as much detail. Good thing for you guys is this is on video so you can pause as much as you need to. Go frame by frame, move by move. Try to get all the details and you guys will be all right. So we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Take care.